So you may wonder about the, uh, the histories of the chimpanzees here. And I'm sure you've heard about the chimpanzees that came from Colston and the Air Force, uh, chimpanzees that were used in laboratory research. But we have other chimpanzees that have different backgrounds. We have some chimpanzees that were used in entertainment, movies, uh, or shows, live shows. Um, we have some chimpanzees that were in, in really bad roadside zoos. Uh, we also have chimpanzees that used to be pets. And what's significant about all of this is that all of these histories create pretty unique individual needs that we as a sanctuary need to address. So a chimpanzee that was reared in a laboratory might have very different issues than a chimpanzee that was reared as a pet or a chimpanzee that was used in show business. And we try to meet those chimpanzees where their needs are. One of the things that we do is we do what we call uh, care and wellness assessments for each chimpanzee. And we look at a chimpanzee and we monitor that chimpanzee's behavior. We look at um, any sort of um, odd behaviors that might be going on or any chimpanzees that might not be engaging in certain activities that they normally like to do. And then we see if we need to tailor our care plan to, those chim to that chimpanzee's needs. Um, so it starts really with knowing their history and then uh, seeing what they're doing now for us to be able to kind of create care plans that uh, not only does, does the care the husbandry staff help with, but also the veterinary staff to work on what might be a medical need for each chimpanzee. So we really want to make sure that even with 232 chimpanzees, that none of them fall through the cracks and that we, we know uh, the individual needs of each one of those chimpanzees. So Save the Chimp started out by um, suing the Air Force for the chimpanzees that were still being used at the Holloman Air Force Base. Um, those chimpanzees um, were uh, left over from things like the space program. Uh, one important artic artifact that we have here is this. This is a, a trainer that was actually used to train the chimpanzees that went up to space. So you may have heard of a chimpanzee uh, named Ham. Ham was actually uh, what I would call the first American in space. He actually um, preceded Alan Shepard uh, to go into space on a Mercury capsule. And he was actually trained on this. Um, and if you look at it, uh, there's the ability to do kind of controlled burns uh, or thrusts with the uh, capsule. Uh, things like that he was trained on. And if you look really cro closely, uh, something that's interesting and kind of gross at the same time is that there's pellets left over from ham being trained in the early 60s. So um, I wouldn't eat those, but that's, what, that's, that's the goodies he got when he was trained. So we have these here as, as, as both a glimpse and a bit of a remembrance about the, the past lives of the chimpanzees that now live at the sanctuary. Um, and and it's, it's, it's nothing pleasant to think about, um, but it's an important thing to think about. Um, so if you, if you look at this here, uh, this represents um, the entire world of some of these chimpanzees while they were in a laboratory. Uh, this was actually, this came from the Colston Foundation. Um, and it is, these walls here represent the end of the chimps world, unless they were taken out uh, to be used for, for really invasive testing and really stressful testing. Um, and that's not even the worst of it. Um, so we have over here, um, this is actually a, a cage that's made for baboons. Uh, however, uh, juvenile chimps were kept in this. Juvenile chimps that were separated from their mother uh, were, were then put into this. Um, and it's an important thing to think about, um, not only just uh, for us all to think about, about um, what's been inflicted on, on our closest living relatives, uh, but also for us as, as caregivers to think about that chimps that used to have their world just end at these walls now have a uh, four or five acre island in a very large social group. Uh, so we also have to think about that as, as we are 
integrating chimps into this very large world and into these very large social groups. Uh, and remember that some of them come with very special needs uh, based on this past. So, so we keep this out um, just kind of as, as both a monument, but, but also so that we remember these things. What you're seeing now is the migration trailer. It was here that the chimpanzees that had been at the Colston Foundation uh, were able to come to their new Florida home to retire. Um, this trailer actually made 27 round trips from New Mexico to Florida to bring all of those chimpanzees here. Every chimp got a window seat and was able to look outside and, and really enjoy the ride. I'm really happy you could join us for this trip around Save the Chimps. We're going to do it again next week. So tune in at Wednesday, 930, uh, and, and we'll see some more things then. So thanks.